Hi everyone, I'm Natar, the product manager for the Alto Crypto IRA. I'm here with a quick video to walk you through how to create an Alto Crypto IRA account. Let's get started at altoira.com and click on sign up on the top right corner. To create an account, enter your email address, create a password with at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one symbol, and one number. Then click the checkbox to agree to the e-sign consent, terms of service, and privacy policy. Now head over to your email inbox to verify your email. Make sure to check your spam and junk folders if you can't find it in your inbox. After verifying your email, you'll start identity verification. Enter your personal information including first name, last name, birthday, social security number, and residential address. Once your identity is verified, you'll receive this confirmation. Select the Alto Crypto IRA if you want to invest in specific tokens. The Crypto IRA integrates with the Coinbase Exchange and allows users to invest in over 125 tokens via market and limit orders. The minimum investment starts at $10. But if you want to invest in a crypto fund like Grayscale or Eagle Brook, choose the Alto IRA. The minimum investment ranges between $5,000 to $100,000. And for many of them, you need to be an accredited investor. I personally want to invest in individual tokens, so I'm picking the Alto Crypto IRA. For account information, this is where you choose your IRA type, traditional, Roth, or SEP. Each have their own eligibility and benefits, so make sure you do your research before picking the one that's right for you. Your name and address already pre-populate from earlier. For this example, I'm selecting a traditional IRA and the last input is phone number. Once you reach the confirmation screen, be sure to read all the agreements. They're all hyperlinked here and then e-sign at the bottom. Your e-signature needs to match the bolded name exactly, so make sure your spelling is correct. Now it's time to fund your account. I highly recommend funding as soon as possible because some funds, especially rollovers and transfers, take more time. Also, please note that the IRS has mandated a seven-day rule that states, regardless of the type of IRA created, your Alto IRA will be restricted from completing any investment transactions for the first seven days after creation. On the account funding page, select how you would like to fund your account. If you want to do a cash contribution from your checking or savings account, click on the first option in the dropdown. The following options are transfers or rollovers from your existing tax advantage accounts. Here's what it looks like if you're doing a transfer or a rollover. You select your current custodian from the dropdown, input your account number, the total transfer amount, and preferred delivery method, check or wire. There's usually a fee from your current custodian for wire transfers, so check in with them first to see what that fee is. Also, how quickly your custodian releases funds is up to your custodian. Check in with them to see what the timeline looks like for your funds. Lastly, you will need to upload a copy of your account statement from your custodian you're transferring from. For a cash contribution, give your account a nickname, input the account holder name, the type of account, checking or savings, company or individual, then enter the bank name. At the bottom, input your routing and account number. On this screen, you'll select what tax year your cash contribution is for. Make sure you don't go over the IRA limit for contributions. This limit is across all of your IRAs for that tax year. For 2021 and 2022 tax years, the max is $6,000 if you're under 50 and $7,000 if you're 50 and older. On this page, confirm an e-sign. Now you've landed in your dashboard. If you have your current account information handy, creating an Alto Crypto IRA account should only take you a couple minutes. Stay tuned for our next video on how to make a trade. Thank you.